Hey everybody, um, I know I said I tweeted yesterday I wasn't going to get Saturday Chit Chat up for you, but I thought since I was feeling a lot better than I was yesterday, why not try to get it up? Uh, in case you don't know, I was sick as a dog. I got sick Friday night with the stomach virus and went to the doctor this morning still feeling queasy and nauseous. Barely able to eat anything. He said I still had the viral infection, so he gave me some medicine to help with that. So Anyway, I hope you had a great week. Mine was up and down. <laughs> it was crazy. I uh, picked up some extra hours at work, which was awesome. However, I missed two days of work because of this, but, you know, got to deal with it. Um, when, when I went to the doctor, she was doing this. And she couldn't find my veins. She said, you got deep veins. And I'm like, okay, I'm also a little bit dehydrated. And I get to go back in about a week because they said my blood pressure is high. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I thought I was doing really good, but nope. Um, in case you're wondering, that came from my cat. That cat got mad at me one day when my cats did, so it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> they like to knead, and she when she got she, when she got scared, um, she went. Kirk. So I need to really treat that. I know. Uh. See what else happened. I will also be sharing with you the Target haul. I got this. I went to Target twice this week. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys had a great week. I put a little bit of makeup on. Nothing major. You're going to see me do the itchy nose. I've been trying to film this video for about 20 minutes now because of my itchy nose. And I'm like, screw it. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm filming for my vanity. Gary got his Dan, Dan Brown book called Inferno that... He's borrowing from the library, and, yeah. He was so into that book that he didn't eat dinner last night, which is shocking. I'm like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm just really into the book. First time he read the book, he got two pages in and went to sleep. So he got up, you know, walked around, did what, whatever, and then got into it and went, bam, page 30. So I'm trying to leave him alone and me come in here and film maybe a video too. I may try to film this video called uh, Interview Yourself tag that he came up with he saw this uh, magazine is fishing so he saw this article in the fishing magazine and this guy asked he invites you to ask yourself these questions and he Carrie thought these questions would be questions I could make into a tag I guess and he said these would be questions that we could all ask ourselves and they were really interesting questions so I thought okay I'll try it and um yeah because he's he is helping me trying to come up with some video ideas when I get stumped and I really appreciated that I'll try to get that out. I don't know when it'll be up. I will try to film it after I get done with this one. It's such a gorgeous day out here. Oh my gosh. And it's like 2.34. Just beautiful day, but so fun. Okay. I did have until I... Like I said, I slapped a little bit of makeup on. Uh, a little bit of eyeshadow. Uh, no concealer, just powder and a little bit of mascara, but and lip product. So I'll show you what I have on later. Try not to touch up it. I know this is rude, but I can't stand I had no lip color. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great week. Let me get on the point of this video. I uh, two empties I have for the week. Uh, upside down elf makeup remover cleansing cloths. You guys know I love these. I'm on my last package. I'm thinking about trying the Neutrogena ones, although I do love these. The only thing that gets my nerves is I got some heavy duty mascara and I have to go back and get my eye makeup remover that's in this container right there. So I don't know. But I do enjoy these. So and then I finally finished up one of my little bo bottles of lotions. You guys know I'm on a mission to finish my lotions. If I don't, I give them away. And I've already given away several. Um I gave my next door neighbor carried away. I gave her either one of the lotions or the shower I think it was a shower gel. And she asked me where I got it at, so Bath and Body Works. Uh, do you guys know if that's since been discontinued? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I think I'm not purchasing her maybe another thing of it. But this is Pink Chiffon, my absolute favorite scent. I have a little bit. I have this little bottle of the shower gel, but I'm on some other shower gels. So, But I do love the scent. I do want to get another lotion-y I may just get the size uh, lotion because it's easier for me to use up. So, but I was really proud of myself. I was like, look, honey, 
I finished it. He's like about time. So <laughs> that's what I said. So really proud of myself. Yes, I know I'm sporting a green shirt, but today I just I did good just to get my makeup on. So but you guys understand. Um, I tried to think of some of the eye products I wore. I rotated my eyeshadows out a lot, but one of the things I you know went back and started using a little bit was my not so nude uh palette from Stila that my husband bought that he bought this for me on an anniversary gift because I was in Ulta. He gave me some cash to go buy my ult my Ulta presents and then he saw me look at that and then went over and insisted he buy it for me. So um anytime you find these palettes are really really awesome. Um what I normally what I did was I wore mink on the lid and I that one mink and then I took another new eyeshadow um, I'll show you in just a minute and then I went back with buff I mean I love the I wish they'd come out with the uh, more of these kind of eyeshadows I like more matte than I do shimmer but I really love this palette and I'm starting to get into fawn a little bit I used to not having a hard time putting together a look but now I'm starting to kind of play around, play around with it a little bit more and so I did find myself reaching for this a little bit more when I wasn't wearing that, I was wearing my e.l.f. quad, the one I put together with my purple ink eyeshadows. You guys know, you've seen that. Let's see. I was using a couple of things from my sample basket bit that I got at Sephora. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but I remember it being the Tinted Moisturizer. The bag's a little bit jacked up, but it's a NARS product. I just wanted to try it. I said I'm going to purchase it, but this is what the name of it was. And this was actually quite nice. I mean, very nice product. It did not clog my pores up, and I was really impressed by that. So, that was a really nice product. Now, this next product I really like a lot. I'm, I'm really thinking about buying this product because for the price it wouldn't be so bad, but it, I think I've got a dupe for it. The Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complex primer potion. The reason why I'm thinking about getting this is for my pores. The dupe I think I might have for it may not uh, take care of the pores. So yeah, I definitely love this product. Um, but with it being summertime, I may not be wearing as much primers, but I did, I still got plenty of this uh, product and the other products, but I did use these up and I really did enjoy these. The dupe I was thinking for, it was with the monostant shaping uh, powder gel because it's like silicone based I think so yeah um the foundation I wore I got I finally I'm almost done with the true match uh foundation from Rimmel I just I took a break I, I mean I've got that much left guys I'm almost done with that I wore NYC sunny skin matching when I wasn't wearing the NARS product I wore this Love the stuff. It feels really light on the skin. I can't open the bottle. The tube. So it looks like it's a really nice lightweight foundation. Um, it's supposed to have vitamins A, C, and E, and it's long wearing. And that I would. It's not super long wearing, but it's it's okay. It's good. It's a good good lightweight foundation, which I did enjoy that. I switched gears on my blush. I did wear my Hard Candy um, blush, as you guys know, I wear a lot, but I also love this one. This is Fuja Fusion. I switched back to that, too. It's the shimmery, pinky one. Mobby color, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm still in love with the Olay, CoverGirl Olay Simply Ages Eye Corrector, number 230. I know it's been discontinued. Love this stuff. I should have worn these for those days like today where I have bags underneath my eyes or lines. And it's just a really nice creamy consistency. But I really love this stuff and I'm glad I bought this. This is a really excellent product. Um, The lip product I believe I reached for. I re I've been reaching for so many products lately. But this one's the Elf Rich Raspberry. I know this is one of my favorite lipsticks anyway. Love this. This is from the... um. Studio line. 
I'm not sure which kind of lipsticks you call them, but you know, they're in the black tube. Okay. Anywho. Are you with me still? Probably should have waited until I was 100, 110%, but. Okay, let me just show you really quickly what I have on. I've got minimum makeup on today. I mean, look, and I mean, my eyeshadow probably looks like crap today, but. I threw on um, the Walking on Eggshells Trio. I put that middle color on the crease, or on the eyelid, put the pinky color in the crease, and just let it go. Put my elf, my elf, hello, Maybelline Rock Express Prime uh, Waterproof Mascara. I tried to do my eyebrows, it wasn't doing it. Um, I threw on the elf eyelid primer, and I threw on my, oh, that was another thing I loved. I actually wore this quite a bit this week, the Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder, so another favorite. So I just threw that on there. And on my lips right now, I'm going to do with it. On my lips right now, I have um, Natural Nymph from e.l.f. and the NYX Lip Gloss and Natural This is, I like this. I was wearing a Nude Delight by, um, my, uh, it's from the Moisture Collection from uh, Rimmel, but it, I find myself, I didn't really dig that color at all. I like this kind of a color shade so okay uh also something else i was loving i told you guys i think i showed you guys i don't know if I'm here on keek i went to my local kroger grocery store and they have a vo5 dupe for the tresemme stuff the split ends okay i've been using the conditioner instead of the shampoo uh what i've been doing was placing the split ends it's for the, it's a dupe for like the uh splint remedy from tresemme which i love uh, this is 79 cents for a bottle. I've been putting this together with the Suave Carantine Infusion Smoothing Shampoo. And this has been actually nice. I know someone said to be careful not to use this every day. I usually wash my hair every two to three days. Uh, by, the, by the end of the second day, I just spray it with dry shampoo. It's been working out really good. Um, I'm going to try try these out together, though, probably. I'm going to take a shower here shortly. Um, and then I did try out the Kroger brand dander shampoo plus conditioner and moisturizers because I have dry scalp. I did find out from a relative that my dad had it and it was hereditary, I guess, in our family. So this worked really good. Um, another favorite, I have gone back to my Aussie heat insurance. I still want to purchase the Garnier flat iron spray, but whenever I, I use this to either flat iron or hair spray my hair, it's been awesome. So, yeah. Um, nail stuff. I'm so all over the place today. On my nails, as of this moment, I probably will repaint my nails here shortly. Uh, you guys know I've gone back to repainting them. Uh, Wet n Wild, Fergie, and Glow Stick. I think I had another color on earlier this week and uh, switched out. My accent nail has Call You Later from Simple Colors. And then on my toes, I'm going to show you my toes, of course, not to gross you off. But I love this. I've got this over top of Superstar from uh, Pure Ice. This is uh, punky pink, and it's a bright pink. Someone was like, my neighbor was like, dang, that's a bright nail polish you got on. I'm like, yes, it is. That's why I put it on. And I love this color. So I'm sorry if it's blinding you. And she knows. Okay. Now, on to the Target haul. Now... I don't know if I mentioned, you guys know I'm a Hello Kitty collector. I love Hello Kitty. Some people, several people, I don't think I should because I'm 36 and then you start acting my own age. Um, again, I will buy what I want to and I love Hello Kitty. I think she's cute and I also love Charming Kitty. And I found a punk version of her somewhere on Facebook and posted it. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway. Enough about that. Um, I did go to Target though, and I found some new Hello Kitty stuff. It was new to me. Picked up one non Hello Kitty stuff and two Elf products. Oh my gosh! I know why my nose is itching because I didn't put my moisturizer on like I'm supposed to. Okay, I've been a long avid user of the Alme Antiperspirant deodorant, the clear gel stuff, but that apparently has stopped working on me. 
I cannot tolerate the perfumed antiperspirants. I mean, I like them, but ever since I hit 30, I've been allergic to them. So I got the hyperallergenic protection, dry idea, advanced dry, and scented 24-hour uh, antiperspirant endurant roll-on. So far, this has worked fine. I feel dry all day. If you guys have tried any of their products, let me know about this. This was $3.99 at Target, and I do not feel like going to Walmart. I've got to a point where I hardly go into Walmart. Because I absolutely have to. Now, I won a $5 gift card to my to Target because I won a contest at work um, for sales or something. Um, and I finally picked up this eyeshadow from e.l.f. that I wanted to get uh, to help me use one of the existing ones. You guys know I've got two other uh, e.l.f. baked eyeshadows. This is Embark. I talked about getting this possibly. This is such an awesome baked eyeshadow. I haven't worn it yet. I'm probably going to wear it. Um, who knows, Mon no, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, when I actually have a normal day. It's this beautiful copper, I don't know, like a copper, who knows, color. It's just a gorgeous color. And I got this to go with, I've got this uh, one, my very first one, Pixie, and I had the hardest time figuring out what color would look good with it. This is the only one I can come up with. Maybe you guys can help me. This is Pixie. I have no idea what color to wear with this. But this would make a good crease color. But I was bent on finding this and finding a good color to go with it. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? But I was really happy to get that. I also, I mean, I just love Bark in general. I thought it would look good with the other ones I have. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay, you know. I mean, on the comments below. Otherwise, I have no idea how to wear this. I just don't want it to look gaudy on me. I guess is a term. Now, the other eyeshadow I got from the one one dollar line. I love this. This is what I had in my crease color with the Stila palette. This is in Moon Dust. This is such a gorgeous color. Oh my gosh. For a dollar, can't beat that. And it's oh my gosh, it's like a champagne. A brown color. And of course, I dropped it. It's just like that. So pretty. I love the way it swatched. I love the way it looked in my crease. I think you guys should try this. If you're into the taupey, gray, brown colors, that would be a good choice. Trust me, when you slap that on there with the eyelid primer, it will come out much pigmented. It's really pigmented on my hand, what I can see. I love this color. I like this almost better than I do bark. So, and like I said, it was only a dollar, and I was really gl glad to get that. Okay, the other part of my haul that I got from Target was when I went on my own and purchased these items. And again, all this is Hello Kitty stuff. So. Um, I found these little hair things. I thought they were the cutest things. They had these little clips, and they look like that. And I thought, the, I mean, I like these clips in general. So, I thought those would be so cute. Let me see if I hold them still for you. Aren't those cute? Yeah, I know these are for little kids, but, I mean, I thought they would be good for me to use, too, to try to style my hair with. And they seem to be pretty sturdy. It's like a monster or something. Pull the other one out. Hey, honey! Honey! Okay, just making sure. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. I thought they were cute. I got uh, one set in pink, one set in purple. So, as you can tell. And then, I got another hairbrush, but I got this as a gift for somebody. It's like uh, the one I already have. I have got a purple one just like this. So, I'm going to keep this in the case. I thought this was so cute. Now, these things I do use. I like to use these whenever I'm getting stuff ready. I got several of the post-its. I'm going to send maybe one or two of these to some friends. They're only a buck. 
you hit the Hello Kitty section, you gotta really get onto them and get them. Here's some. Oh, I got two of the same ones. <laughs> so I got those. I got this bracelet necklace set. This is probably gonna be a gift, but I love the idea. Here's the necklace. I opened the bracelet wondering if I could actually wear it. I don't know. But like I said, they were only a dollar. There's the uh, little doodad with it. And then the last thing I got. Now, my husband is a total guy, but he thought these were neat looking because you don't see too many of these things. But, you know, you can go and buy Hello Kitty ribbon and make them yourself. They had these little bows. I thought they were the cutest thing, and they got these little plastic clips. So, yeah. Okay, I know that's not much of a haul, but that's what I got. Um, again, I'll probably making be making an elf order probably the next couple weeks. I'm planning on. I've got a list of few things I want to try. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry I was all over, all over the place, but I do want to try to get a video or two up for you guys, at least one today. So, anyway, have a great week. I'll see you again next week.